An elaborate sting operation conducted on 23 key people of the Ram Janambhumi movement claims that the demolition of the Babri Masjid on the 6th of December 1992 was elaborately planned by the various wings of the Sangh Parivar and executed with precision by trained volunteers. Let's uh, go across to Abhishek who has more inputs on that. Abhishek, uh, this seems to be a rather explosive report which uh, says that there was systematic planning and agenda uh, that went behind the Babri Masjid demolition. To what extent is it going to affect the political fortunes of someone like Advani who is who's just going to file his nomination in Gandhi Nagar? Timing is significant. We are in election season. Uh, BJP's patriarch L.K. Adwani, who was the key figure uh, in the Babri de demolition times of the BJP and the larger Sangh Parivar. In fact, uh, uh, the key architect of the whole saffron uh, rise, uh, so to say, in the country. Uh, he is going to file his nomination papers from Gandhinagar constituency tomorrow. He would be in Ahmedabad. So it is clear that uh, 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 there would be some questions asked to him and you can expect some answers more significantly because uh, in early 2000s it was L.K. Adwani who had mentioned that the day of the demolition of Babri was the darkest day of his public life. So in a way Adwani has expressed remorse. Now that uh, this revelation is coming out that there was actual planning, it was not a mob frenzy, uh, there would be some explaining to do. Also, uh, one more significant aspect that comes out of this uh, report uh, in Times of India that is attributing this thing to Cobra Post uh, is essentially that uh, some part of training uh, was done in Gujarat, in Sarkej area, which is on the outskirts of Ahmedabad. It was done by uh, trained uh, uh, people, it was done by uh, retired military personnel and that core group of trained people played a major role in getting that structure down. This report also talks about the fact that uh, uh, the Prime Minister, the then Prime Minister of India, P.V. Narasimha Rao, also knew uh, in some ways uh, about this plan uh, to get the Babri demolition, uh, demolition done. So essentially, it indicates to her not just uh, a Sangh Parivar plan, but some level of collusion between a Congress-led government and the Sangh Parivar to get the Babri, Babri Mosque down. So this would need a lot of explaining, not just from the BJP, not just from LK Advani, but perhaps from Congress party as well. All right, Bilal is also with us. Bilal, we just heard Abhishek saying that in this report, it of course indicates that it was not just the BJP or the Sangh Parivar, there was also the Congress-led government at the center, which is implicated in a way, and Narasimha Rao very much, uh, the then Prime Minister in the know of things. Bilal, tell us, what are the major claims that this report makes and how damaging could it be? What could be its political ramifications? Bilal, if you could hear me, I was uh, wanting to understand from you that coming at the time that it has, how damaging could this Cobra Post report be, particularly because it implicates not just BJP and the Sangh Parivar, but also the Congress government and a possible collusion between the two? Yes, of course. As, as far as the details of this report is concerned, as we as we approach that press conference at 10 o'clock, obviously the details as it is are, are already very uh, damning as far as uh, both the political parties at the national level is concerned. There are specific references to how even Narsimha Rao, of course, was somebody who knew about uh, what was going to really happen in Ayodhya on the 6th of December in 1992. Now, this is something that uh, the opposition could be using against the Congress as well. Remember, there have been instances in the past where somebody like a Rahul Gandhi has also tried to to distance himself from Narsimha Rao's tenure uh, in, in the 90s. Now, at this point, of course, we don't really know whether the Congress party is going to be defensive about it, whether they would want to turn it around and attack the BJP. But for the time being, as the Congress approaches the elections, their strategy is very clear. They've been wanting to have a mandate where they would be able to have a, a major section of the minority vote, the Muslims in particular. Now, right. this entire talk around uh, reaching out to, to the Shahi Imam of Jama Masjid and all these other steps that the Congress party has been taking this one report is going to raise severe question marks over how the Congress party itself has been really uh, uh, managing its affairs and the fact that a prime minister of the Congress party was in the know-how. So all of these equations are expected to play out and we we'll really have to see politically whether both the parties are going to get, get entangled in this debate or whether they would try to just play it down and possibly look beyond. Right.